Hi Alliance Kids, it's Miss Kim again with your Kids Moment. Let's talk about prayer. Why do we pray? Or why should we pray? I mean, we pray a lot at church and it's very important we know that, but why? Well, let's think about it. Do you have a friend that you like to talk to? Do you like to tell them when you're happy or when you're sad or when something exciting happened in your life? Yeah, well, that's called relationship. And prayer is our relationship with Christ, with God. That's how we communicate and build that relationship with Him through prayer. We pray to Him, He listens, and if we listen, we can hear Him in our heart as well. Just like we were talking about last week. But let's look at some scriptures and see what our Bible says. Oh, another thing is we can praise God and through prayer and thank him for all the wonderful things that's going on. Or there's a lot of different things we can pray to God about. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, let's look in our New Testament in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. It's a good one. Let's go over to Colossians. Um, Colossians, we're still in the New Testament. Chapter 4, verse 2. Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. There's lots of scriptures in our Bible that talk to us about prayer. Um, let's look at 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Never stop praying. Um, those are just a few verses in our Bible that talk about prayer. Prayer is very important. God wants that relationship with us. And like we learned last week, we can talk to him at any time, any day. So I've got a little trick. Sometimes it's hard to know how to pray or what to pray. So I've got a little trick to show you today that might help you when you pray. So first of all, I want you to take your hands and put them in front of you like you're getting ready to pray, but keep your eyes open because I want you to be able to see your fingers. Okay, now look at your hand. The closest one to you is your thumb, isn't it? So when you're praying, look at your thumb and go, oh, that's the closest one to me. I'm gonna pray for the people that are closest to me. That might be your mom, your dad, grandmas and grandpas, brothers and sisters, maybe even a really close friend. So whenever you see that thumb that's pointing the closest to you, let that remind you to pray for those closest to you. Now the next finger is called your index finger or your pointer finger. That one can remind you to pray for those who point you in the right direction. Now who might that be? I think of our pastors, Pastor Jason Siebert and Pastor Jason Taylor and maybe even Miss Julie Taylor, and your teachers at school. They're guiding and teaching you, and your Bible community teachers. Those are people that are pointing you in the right direction. Now, the next finger is the tallest finger. Let that remind you of, teach, of praying for those in leadership, like in leadership of our country of um, all of our government officials, people who govern our city in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Now the next finger is your ring finger. Did you know that that's the weakest finger on your hand? Hmm. Well, anyway, let that weaker finger remind you to pray for those who are sick. And then last, your little pinky finger. It's the smallest one, isn't it? Yeah. Let that remind us to pray for ourselves. Because in Romans, in our book, in our Bible, in the book of Romans, 
The Bible says, don't think you are better than you are. So that means don't forget to pray for yourself too and anything that you need to talk to God about. So this is just a short little lesson about a tip on how you can know how to pray. Sometimes it helps if you know that you have to pray, but you just don't know what to pray. Put your hands up and think about those. Let's go over them one more time. The first finger is the one closest to you, so pray for those that are closer, close to you. The index finger or the pointer finger, remember to pray for those who are pointing you in the right direction. The tallest finger is leadership. The um, weakest finger, the next finger, is for those who are sick. And then your pinky represents yourself. That's just a little tip from Miss Kim that I learned. Maybe it'll help you when you pray. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this time together. And we just pray that this little tip will help us when we don't know what to pray or how to pray. And I just pray that we will always pray and build our relationship with you through prayer. Amen. All right, until next time, Miss Kim signing off.